Britain's favourite High Court enforcement agents are back. Hello, thanks for you. In this brand new special, they're at the sharp end of Britain's benefits crisis. <sighs> He's run this landlord ragged. An estimated 11.5 million families depend upon benefits to make ends meet. And the agents are busier than ever. Because it is on Quran. It is on Quran. Repossessing homes, goods, and cash from some of the most vulnerable in society. It needs to be paid today. They face conflict. And that's what happens. And heartbreak. I don't know where I'm going to stay for the night. I'm going to struggle to pay this. But if you can't pay, they'll take it away. According to latest surveys, the cost of renting a home in the UK is spiralling out of control. Over the last three months, rent has risen five times faster than tenant income. Those living in the London area are hit hardest, where the average rent is now £1,500 a month. The first job this morning, Phil, is a repossession. Don't know why, only know who and where. Paul Bowhill and Phil Short are High Court enforcement agents. They travel around the south of England, taking control of goods to cover debts and repossessing homes. Probably 95% of the people we deal with, so far as repossessions are concerned, are on benefits. And quite a number of people that we're chasing in debt situations have ended up on benefits. This morning, they're embarking Essex to evict a family who are unemployed on housing benefit and haven't been paying the rent. The landlord claims he's owed £12,000. He's gone to the High Court, not to get the money, but to evict the tenants. And it's potentially going to be contentious because the landlord is there. He wants to see the tenants suffer. That's my conclusion from the fact that he's insisting on being there. So, for that, we should be on our guard that we might actually have some sparks. Okay. Right, what number are we looking for? On the right. So, just see where that... Right, right then. It's 8am, and the landlord is already outside the property. Okay. Hello, sir. I'm Paul Bowhill. I'm the landlord. Strong. This is my colleague. The yeah, situation with this guy is um, he's not paid me rent nearly for a year and that. Okay. He owes me nearly probably over 12 grand. Um, and that's why I called you guys. I just want him out. I need him out today regardless. Have you got a locksmith here? I'm doing the locks myself. OK. You got keys to the house? I've got the keys as well. You can do the door now if you want. Or do you want me to open the door? Is that with there? Yeah. We'll knock first. We always do. We're just naturally polite. Left now, so he should still be inside. Okay. Well, that was easy. Hello? Is there anybody in? Hello? Is there anybody in? I'll take that as a no. Hello? We're High Court Enforcement. We have an order to repossess this property. To repossess? What is it? Sorry? I'm sorry. Yeah. Just one second. Do you speak English? Yeah. Just one second. Give me a second. Huh? No, no, that's OK. Let, let me be my shirt. Yeah, it's all right. Put your shirt on. Take your time. What's he doing getting ready? We just going to put a shirt on. The tenant and his family have lived here for three years. Officially, they are the only occupants. Right, Phil. Just see if there's anybody upstairs. <clears throat> Don't start World War Three. Would I? Huh? Would I? Well, you might. Hello? No one up here? The landlord, Mr Ahmed, suspects they've been subletting the property and keeping the rent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight beds with four people. 
And you know, I let this property out to two people with two children. The tenant, Mr. Ali, is on crutches because of a recent accident. He's finally dressed and ready to talk to Paul. We've now repossessed the house, and the procedure is this, that we will give you an hour to get your personal belongings together, medication, clothes for tonight for you and your wife or whoever. Uh, and after that hour, we will lock the property, change the locks, and you will need to speak to the landlord to clear out whatever other property you've got here. In this, in this position, I cannot do my children are in, in school now. Yeah. Okay, and my wife is not home. Would you like to ring your wife and get yeah, her to come back? Definitely. I, yeah. I okay. <clears throat> give, me, give me some time. No, we can only give you an hour, I'm afraid. The landlord claims he hasn't been paid the full rent for over a year. I'm just going back, huh? I'm going back. The landlord went to the county court eight months ago to get the tenants evicted, but has now escalated the case to the high court to get them out today. He's stopped paying rent since the new year, and he's been promises us that he's going to be paying it. He's been rare since then, and we started proceeding probably about July time. And I've just got a little ago. Well, yeah. you say he's in receipt of housing benefit. Yeah, yeah. Do you know that? Yeah, I know that. Because right. I had to get it transferred to me. Right. Because the housing benefit that only covers is only bare minimum. All oh, right. It's, How much is housing I benefit? I think it's, uh, if I'm right, it's only £170 a fortnight. No. As little as that's, that. That's all I get. The shortfall between the rent and housing benefit means the landlord is now losing about £600 a month. That's right. How are you getting on? 20 minutes later, and Mr Ali is still in his room. He's been on the phone constantly, and nothing is being packed. Go back and tell him that at quarter past nine, yeah. we will either lock the door and he'll be outside, or we'll call the police to remove him. OK, well, it's been instructed at quarter past nine, yeah. the door will be locked, and you'll have to be the other side of it. Failing that worst case, the police will have to be called and you'll have to be escorted off the property. I, I, I have started, huh? I have started. Come on. You've got to leave, mate. Uh, I've been going on with this for nearly so many months with you now. You know that, through court. Enough's enough. How much more money do you want me to lose? Another 15 minutes tick by. Look at, look at the state of this property. Look at all the beds. You've got beds here, beds in the back, beds upstairs, and then it's all the landlord's fault. And people like him are the one that caused this problem. You know, I just want him out. I've had enough now. He's got to go. I have never, ever asked anybody to come and live with me in this house. He's telling a lie. It was me, my wife, and two children only. Yeah, the wife's here. Mr. Ali's wife arrives back from the school run. Can I have my house key back, please? Sorry, what? Why is that? No, 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 stay outside. You know, this is my house. No. You're the people that have lost me £12,000. Yeah? No, I'm working now. No, don't tell me to be quiet. My house, my rules. I'm just saying you, you speak quietly, nicely. I'm giving you everything. I'm giving you time. I'm giving you one hour to let go. Half an hour's already gone. You got half an hour after I'm changing the lock. Before that hour, I'm going. No, you're going now. Paul's eviction is spiralling out of control. You put the hand on the ground with either life. And that's what happened. Come on, Mr. Sharker. You've got to leave, mate. I just don't get it. I don't get it. Barking Essex. High Court Enforcement Agents Paul Bowhill and Phil Short served an eviction notice on Mr. Ali and his family. But Mr. Ali seemed reluctant to leave. Yeah. You are doing it your way. I'm doing it my way. Okay. It's the end game of an eight month dispute over unpaid rent. My house, my rule. I'm Tell you that now. Just asking you I've time lost £12,000 because of you. Now, yeah? the conflict yeah, is yeah, escalating. You. You're going to give me £12,000? No. You put the hand on the ground with either life. 
Yeah. And that's what happened. Paul needs both the landlord and tenants to calm down if he's to keep the eviction on track. Take your stuff. Move. You like and chor jada ta tad vich. Ji ji. Ta tu sun sun nas ke idhar aayo na. Chor vich hai. Dangar. Coffee. She's basically telling me that my mum's a bitch and blah blah blah. So this is my language. You don't know. He oh, what he's saying. All right. I'm just ask him. You speak nicely. Is it your house? I'm going. Just give me. He say I'll give you one hour. I'm saying I'm going before one hour. Okay, right? that's fine. I'm wrong. No, no. You're right. Ask him. You, you have one hour to go. That's okay. Yeah, okay as long as. Right. I'm sorry. I'm just asking to make sure that you understand yeah, okay. that. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. No problem. That's fine. That's fine. Right. Paul thinks he has the situation under control. But then, the police arrive. Who has just called us? The, Yourself? No, yeah. not me. No, who's, no, who's, no. Who's, 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 who's two seconds. I just can't check. Okay. They've been called by the tenants. Okay, what's, what's going on inside at the moment? Are they getting this? We've given out them an hour to get their personal belongings together, which is our standard procedure, and then they can make an arrangement with the landlord. Yeah to come back and get the rest of the stuff out. OK, no worries. I want them out on the... Sorry. Yeah, no, that's the last I'll, one, yeah. I'll in perfect that. world, they'll be out yeah. on the street by quarter past nine. Join us, see my colleague needs a... Of course you can, yeah. The police speak to the tenants and then try to mediate. Give half hour just to get some more stuff together? No. No? By quarter past nine, I said. It's It's ten past. We've oh, been it's... here, we've been here it's for been over an hour. He's run this landlord ragged. And I haven't very often got time, you know, I'm not sympathetic to the landlords. The circumstances of this are that he's just taken the mickey. Inside, the landlord and the tenant continue to go head to head. No, I'm not arguing with you. I'm just telling you, you should have just left the property. But at least the police are helping Paul stick to his deadline. No, 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 no. It happened because of you, because you have not paid the money. You've got to remember that. Sorry, can, sorry, can I just interrupt here? Can, can you have this conversation outside? I'm, I would be love to do that. Thank, Thank you. you. You're OK, sir? You've got, you've got a copy of the warrant, haven't you? Yeah, he gave me a copy. I'll give you a copy of my card. OK, and... Um, now, what you can help me? Everything is done here. The eviction is over, but Paul still has some questions. Can I ask you a question, though? Yes, but you haven't paid any rent. I have. It was, it was, it was overdue, month by month. But they're Suddenly. actually owed about twelve thousand pounds, aren't they? It is not. It is not. It, 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 it is not more than four thousand, five thousand, maximum five thousand. Yeah. Did so you want to? Did you want to make an arrangement with me to pay the arrears? Uh, if you can come and sit down. Yeah, tell me your number. Almost an hour and a half after the agents arrive, Mr Ali and his wife leave the house. It's a last chance for landlord and tenant to trade accusations. You, you are telling me that my foot is broken? Your sister has died only due to that, uh, that lie, OK? And remember, so many things are going to happen. You watch what so you many, say. Yes, you so many things are going say, to happen yeah? because it is on Quran. Yeah. It is on Quran. Yeah. And I'm You're telling you, it, it, it is on Quran, yeah. yeah. Can we just call a halt now? Don't get knocked down. Finally, the landlord has regained possession of his property. Well, that was quite a classic, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, I've seen the paperwork. The landlord is spot on. He's owed the money, plus £4,000 legal fees. But that bloke is as smooth as silk, isn't he? Yeah. Just as we were leaving there, he was just going into his slug like, spiel. But it sort of knocked him back when I said, well, can I come and talk to you about the rent arrears? <laughs> Didn't want to know that, did he? Despite Britain's improving economy, the latest figures from debt charities show that an increasing number of people are seeking help for debt problems. Reports indicate that single parents are the worst affected, with those seeking advice doubling within the year. How far are we? 1.6 miles to go. High Court enforcement agents Brian O'Shaughnessy and Kevin Stokes 
often have to work with the most vulnerable families. My mother was on benefits. Um, she raised us on her own, and uh, she struggled doing it. So I, I know how hard it can be to be on benefits. Today, they are on the south coast. That's is a Miss Erika Kuna. Yep. And we are in Hove. Look forward to an ice cream on the beach. How much is the writ for, mate? Uh, the writ is for £2,435.23. Hopefully someone will be in and we'll be able to get some result. It's going to be something like this, I reckon. It's got to be that. Right, let's park it in. The writ allows the agents to demand instant payment or seize goods to the same value if the debtor can't pay. Thank you, lovely. Miss Erika Kuna. Um, we're High Court Enforcement Officer. There's been a uh, High Court writ taken out against you from uh, MGH Property Services. Yes. Do you know this company? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so it used to be my previous number. They've taken you to court and you owe a balance of £2,435.23, um, which needs to be paid today. I don't have that money. Right, is, there any, is there any way of you getting that money today? It can be paid on a debit card over the phone if you know anybody can No, I, I don't. Help you. I, um... I actually go in touch with PayPlan okay. to um, have all my creditors paid through them. Okay. Yeah, that's um, the approach. Right, have you, got, have you got paperwork supporting all that sort of stuff so I can have oh, a yes, look at it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I put in the houses. Right? That's, uh, that's fine, that's go no on, problem. Thank you very much. Okay. Erica separated from her partner six years ago and moved to this flat with her three children. The debt dates back to 2009 and the home they shared before the split. Um, she was a previous landlord. You know, like when you move out, they, they, were, they were into paint, filling holes. She, there was a burn mark on the car, so obviously had to replace the carpet. Erica was supposed to be paying the debt in instalments. Yeah. Because the agreement was to be £100 per month. Well, to pay back? Yes. Did you default on that at all? Yes, I did because I became unemployed. Right, OK. So that was difficult. I mean, I'm a single mother of three, so that's a nightmare as well. Right, OK. But ignoring payments has made the debt escalate. That's the original debt, £936.78. But because uh, the debt was taken to court, this is what... It came to two thousand four hundred and thirty-five pounds and twenty-three pence. Court costs and enforcement fees means that the bill has tripled. Erica works part time as a carer. After rent and bills, she has less than a hundred pounds per week to repay debts and feed her family. It's not a very just a system. It's not for. It's not being created for people like me. It just pushes me down further and further. You know, I used to work for the money shop um, for a, a year and a half. I had to terminate that last year in August because um, it was becoming a financial burden as well. Childcare is so expensive, so it was difficult. But Kevin and Brian need to get Erica to pay the outstanding amount today. What I need to do is assess whether you have assets in this house. Um, um, I have yeah, I, yeah, I understand that. Um, I'm going to have a look around uh, oh, yeah, and, so make, and make a judgment, OK? So when I see a debtor on benefits, I'll look at their situation, I'll look at what they've got around them, and, and I'll see if they are truly on having hardship. Um, if I see that they've got luxury items um, that they don't really need, um, then I'll look at it differently. With so little money coming in, Erica is racking up more debt. And I'm behind with my gas. I'm, I still have to pay them £50 on, on Monday, and then they already sent a reminder about that. Um, so I always try to pay the priority debts. And this is what got me into the situation where I, I find myself today. And this is only a small part of her total debt, which has now spiralled out of control. Brian can see from the breakdown of Erica's finances that she owes a staggering £45,000. 
there's multiple other debts, student loan, which is quite high, um, telephones, solicitors. I've had a look. Um, she's clearly having issues with debt. She's trying to get the right advice. Um, but we need to know where her circumstances and make a decision. She's got three children, single parent, brothers here to try and help out with her. So we'll have a look around and see what's going on. There are no goods in the flat that would cover the debt. So the agents try another approach. We need to get you back on track with this paying this. Yeah. That's, that's how we're going to get this resolved. So. Okay. Um, can you get an initial payment today to set this back up onto a payment plan? I only have £100 on the children's savings account, and I can show you that. And that was to last me to... Uh... What have you got? Yeah. What are you saving for, if you don't mind me asking? Yes, um, I'll have to pay for the school meals Fine. on a weekly basis for two of my children. OK. Right, OK, then what we'll do is we're going to set you back I mean, on the arrangement, um... OK? The agents are reluctant to take her savings and decide to get her on a new payment plan. Um, we'll set £100 a month then. Yeah. You're happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'll be happy to contribute today £50. But that, that, that's your decision. Yes. Uh, that I, I don't want you to get yourself in further debt, OK? No, I... If you, can, I... if you can afford debt comfortably, then that's fine, I'll accept it. But if that's going to put you in any further debt... No, that, it, sh it should be OK. But... Do you want to do that? Yes, I'll do that. That's fine. That's your decision. We have to start somewhere. It's been dragging on for quite a while now. Yeah, I had to take it in the end because she kept offering it. Um, but I didn't, I didn't feel comfortable taking her children's money. Fine. That's lovely, thank you. Let's hope they're all as pleasant as you today. <laughs> That's it. Good going. Thank you very much. No, all thank right. you. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. Thank sorry. you very much. <laughs> When a debtor turns around to you and says, look, I've got 50 quid in my bank and that's to feed my kids, but you can have it, yeah. it, just, it, just pulls, it just pulls at your heartstrings. It's, it's not fair. Yeah. I think it should have been... It should have... She knows she's in trouble. She's yeah. got enforcement agents in her home, but yet she still wants to give it to us. And we thought, you know what, she, she, that's the kind of person we're dealing with. We gave, we gave her every option not to pay it, if you like. We said to her, look, save it for Keep your first instalment. Um, but she, was, she just wanted, she could see she clearly wanted to start trying to sort it out. I'm, I'm going to struggle to pay this, even though it's £100 a month. It'll be a struggle where I have to take from somewhere that I don't have. But no one else is to blame apart from me, so it's OK. <laughs> I just have to accept it. Brian and Kevin's next assignment is another debtor who's also struggling to survive on benefits. I'm paying nothing. You're not paying nothing, yeah? I'm not paying nothing. But this time, with very different issues. So if you start any nonsense, you go out. Latest figures from the government show that over 3 million people in the UK now live on disability benefits. And further studies reveal that disabled people are twice as likely to live in poverty as the general population. Collindale, North London. High Court enforcement agents Brian O'Shaughnessy and Kevin Stokes are about to serve a writ on a husband and wife. Chanania and Adina Cohen owe more than £2,000 to a firm of solicitors. Right, what's the name of the road? We're looking for Belvedere Strand. Upstairs, is it? Uh, hang on. So, downstairs. Here you go. Lovely. Hello. Hello, so it's Bobby. Looking for Chenania. Oh, she's not in. Are you Adina? Yeah, come here. Okay, thank you very much.
Once the agents are in the house, the writ allows them to seize goods if Mr and Mrs Cohen can't pay. Um, I'll show you my ID first. Um, my name's Kevin Stokes. It's in regards to a writ of control, a high court writ that's been taken against you by a hey. UN Chenania. Is it, is it your husband or your partner? Uh, we're sort of... Uh... The Cohens have separated, yeah. but Mrs Cohen is still named on the writ. Um, maybe, maybe I stayed overnight, but that's because he's not feeling well, and he's just gone out now. Uh, maybe you, he could shed some light on it to you. Do you want to give him? A, do you want to give him a call that. and see if you can get to the bottom of it? Yeah, um, Hello. What's your name? Where are you? Um, are you far away from your house? Got uh, high court enforcement here. Would you like me to speak to him? Explain to him. Maybe we can explain, yeah, it might be easier. Hello, Chenanya. Yeah. Hello, sir. My name's Kevin Stokes. I'm a High Court Enforcement agent. Um, here in regards to writ, writ that's been taken out against you. For what? Uh, I'm guessing it's solicitor's fees, uh, unpaid solicitor's fees. No, we paid it through my income support. Okay, there's an outstanding balance, sir, of £2,093.58. I'm paying it through my income support. OK, uh, you must have missed the payment, sir. We wouldn't be here unless if you was keeping up them payments. Well, was this done as well? I mean, I don't know anything. I don't know... This was done. I don't know what it is. OK. Hello, sir. Hello. hello. How are you? Um, hello, how are you? OK. Nice to meet you. My name's Brian. Nice to meet you. This is Kevin. Back. Thank you so much. Um, we've been sent here today with a High Court writ for non-payment. But I understand you said you had, um... You had some paperwork or you had an attachment of benefits or something, did you? That's right. Okay, sir. Have you got that paperwork? Yes. Thank you, sir. Before you do anything, well, let me warn you. I'm a very sick man. Yeah. I've got a operation on my head. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. So if you start any nonsense, you go out. Mr. Cohen has had major surgery for a brain tumour. He had to give up his job and now relies completely on income support, housing and disability benefit. Nevertheless, he thinks he is paying off the outstanding debt from his benefits. It's like, um, you know, I don't owe nobody no money. Well, you do. So you can stand there all you want and you can make a claim that you don't owe it. This piece of paper says otherwise. This is from the High Court. This isn't the County Court. This is from the High Court. So what I need to find out now is can you pay this outstanding bill, sir? What? Can you I pay the outstanding bill? You're not paying nothing, yeah? I know it's nothing. Okay, fine. This is a new I debt to a lawyer he didn't think he owed. Mm -hmm. So what is it you're paying out of your benefits that you said you was paying out your benefits? Some other, uh, it's something else, I yeah? Ah, oh, right, okay, I understand. No problem at all. So what so what is why is this lawyer saying that you owe him money? Because he's an idiot. OK. <laughs> Mr Cohen claims he has already paid the fee he agreed with the lawyer. But the writ still stands, and the agents want to get payment today. They just have to work out how. He hasn't got a great deal in the house, but my only thing is he doesn't want to pay this money. You know, so I'm thinking for the client, if we set him up an arrangement... Mm. But I do think you should pay an initial payment today. Um, let's I see think. if we can get that then, yeah. and then I'll speak. We'll, I'll find out the arrangement, okay. and I'll call the client to make sure, yeah? You will have to pay something today. You will have to find some sort of payment today to get this started. Um, so do you want to have a chat or do you want to see what you can get together? It's got to be something substantial, though. It can't be just 20 quid or something silly like that, you know? You need to make a dent in this, in this payment. Yes. Kevin asked Mr Cohen to pay £100 towards the £2,000 that he owes. If you don't do it, then what they'll do is they'll send us back here and then we'll be here to remove goods and it will put a sale charge on your... On your amount so your bill will go up a lot if we have to come back and remove goods before five o'clock i should call you. thank you very much no problem sir okay right. i'll speak to you soon okay yeah okay mr cohen brian and kevin have signed mr cohen up to a payment plan they are trusting him to make a telephone payment of a hundred pounds later that afternoon be good yeah bye 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 we're there to, to do a job and to enforce a writ but at the same time we have to take his vulnerability into account Mr Cohen will have to find a way to make payments towards the debt out of his benefits. It's very, very small money. It's without the community, which I have, the Jewish community, 
and I've got friends which from time to time help to pay some bills, you can't survive. You cannot survive. My life was very successful. I was working, earning good money, but it's not there anymore. So it's very difficult and it's very uh, embarrassing. But if he fails to pay up, Kevin and Brian will be back and they might not be so sympathetic next time. A report from homeless charity Shelter reveals that more than a quarter of renters have been refused accommodation simply because they were on housing benefit. In the survey, 67% of landlords say they prefer not to let to tenants receiving the subsidy. Feltham, South West London. Today, Paul Bowhill and Steve Pinner have a High Court writ to evict a family from their home. The landlord wants the house back for his family and has been negotiating the tenant's departure for nine months. But the tenant is still there. What's this job supposed to be? It's just a straightforward repossession. There's no money judgment, so I'm guessing it's a Section 21 end of tenancy. All right. Uh, it's a Miz again, so we're looking at another single mother. Okay. The family are not in rent arrears, but they know the eviction is coming. Hello. Hello. We're from the High Court. We have an eviction order for this property. May we come in? Thank you very much. You're Irene, are you? Yes, I am. Okay, thank you. And my name is Paul. And this is Steve. How do you do? Thank you. Oh, if yes. I can explain the procedure to you, you have an hour to get personal belongings together because you won't be allowed back in the I know, property I'm again. Not, you, you understand yeah, the procedure? I do understand, oh, that's yeah, okay. okay. That's a copy of the order for you. Okay. And if you take that to the council, mm. they should set in motion okay. their procedures for actually giving you emergency housing. Okay. Now, you want to take the children? I mean, tell me what you need to do first. Are the children walking to school? Yeah, the, uh, he walks them to school. Okay. Yeah, I've made arrangements. Now, we don't want to be in your face here, mm. so we're going to take the locks out because we're changing the locks as well. Okay. All right, so if we carry on with that, then we're not, yeah. we don't want to be on your back okay. and in your way. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Can't find the old now for this. Irene Namwabaya came to the UK from Uganda 15 years ago and has lived in the house for four years. A single mum of three, she works full time as a nurse. But Irene still struggles to make ends meet, claiming housing benefit and working tax credit. Okay. I'll come and pick you up after school. Bye. Since finding out she was going to be evicted, she's been searching for a new home. But being on benefits limits her options. Landlords, if you're on housing benefit, they won't let you a property. But the minute you say, I res I'm in receipt of housing benefit or I don't earn 30,000 or that whatever amount they want, they just, it's a no no for them. Today's eviction means she and her three children are now homeless. I've tried to make a life for myself and my children. I went to uni. I've got myself a job. I thought I'd settled here now. But now, look, I'm back to square one. I don't know where I'm going to stay for the night. Families being evicted is devastating because she may have children in two different schools. And then if the council pick up the, the challenge and say, OK, we'll rehouse you, they may rehouse them somewhere out of the borough. So then, then they have to change schools or travel from wherever they go to be in the same school. So it's, it's never going to be easy. If I can explain going forward, have you got what, the things that you need? Now, OK. I've spoken with the landlord. <clears throat> she would like the place cleared out by Friday. 
I'm sorry you're upset. I'll give you my card. I'll give you... I'll write my phone number on here. My sympathy is engaged by genuine need uh, and genuine, genuine emotion, where people are caught in situations not of their making. But we're not trying to be nasty or anything like that. We're just trying to give the landlord the property back. Yeah. All right. So what are you waiting for now? Or are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. OK, that's fine. Super job. Irene will have to clear out all of the family's furniture and possessions in the next few days. But the priority is finding somewhere to go now. Take it easy. You don't have to go now if you want to wait for a few minutes. Paul needs Irene to get down to the council as soon as possible. Otherwise, she and the children could be on the streets tonight. Feltham, South London. High Court agents Paul and Steve have served a writ to evict Irene Namwabaya and her family from the home they have lived in for four years. You have an hour to get personal belongings together because you won't be allowed back in the I know, I know. You, yeah, you understand yeah, the procedure? I do understand. That's yeah, OK. Yeah. Irene works full-time as a nurse and has three young children. She receives housing benefit, but she hasn't been able to find anywhere else to go. I'm back to square one. The family are now homeless. Irene reveals to Paul that this is not the first time it has happened. I've been here before. We were evicted. We had to go to live in South Hall in one room with three children. I had to take two buses then. So I thought this, this time it was different. But I've only been here four years, and then I have to go back again. I don't know where I'm going. My son is in year six, my eldest. He's going to be doing his sets, so all that disruption, I don't know how it's going to affect him. When I got this house in 2010, I thought maybe this is it. My kids are now still going to have a better life with them. I'm sorry, Angel. No, no, that's OK. You know, I've got a great deal of sympathy with you because we normally go to houses and people are just ripping the system off. So right. I'm not in any areas. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> it's not that I'm getting everything free. No, no, I understand that. I work long hours all the overtime that I can get. Yeah. Take your time, all right? I'll be outside. The difference between Irene and anybody else that we've dealt with in the last six months is that she's 100% genuine. She's done everything from what I can see to make the system work properly. Working, four kids, all well fed and looked after. Clean, tidy house. She's provided a good home for them. Irene must now go to the council to ask for emergency accommodation. But just make sure you've got that number when you give that to the council. They might only want to see it, that's all. Yeah, and then they'll send you to some bed and breakfast somewhere. We're not here to put the housing crisis to rights. We're here to carry out these evictions. That's all we're here to do. But the rest of it is bound to have an effect on us because we are human beings, and yes, uh, the situation is insoluble. A few weeks ago, High Court agents Brian and Kevin served Chenania Cohen and his wife with a writ for over £2,000 in unpaid lawyer's fees. Initially, Mr Cohen refused to accept that he owed the debt. I don't know nobody, no money. What are you doing? 
but finally he agreed to pay £100 and follow a payment plan. That's fine, no problem. I'm happy with that. Mr Cohen paid the £100, but no further instalments. So Brian is back. Maybe a reason why he hasn't stuck to the arrangement. Um, but he hasn't notified us. He has been trying to get a hold of me at the office, so I thought I'd pop by and see what's going on. If Mr Cohen won't pay, then the writ means that goods can be seized to cover the debt. Hello? Hello, Mr Cohen, how are you? I'm OK. It's Brian. Thank you, sir. Nice, man, see? I wish all my clients were like that. Did you call the office? 20 times. Listen, they keep threatening me. Don't worry about them, I'll deal with it. I'll deal with you now, in the right yeah. way. No problem. In the right way? Yeah, man. So if we're coming in, there's a couple no of No problem, no problem. No scary... No, 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 no. No, I'm taking stuff. No, 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 no. No, I'll I'll treat you the way you treat me. No, no, listen. Yeah? Mr Cohen wants to challenge the debt in court, but at the moment, the judgment still stands, so Brian needs to get him back on the payment plan. How have you been? OK, thank you. Yeah? Yeah. The reason I've come back here yes. is because I've seen you defaulted, and you did try and contact me. I know, you know, answer the phone. <laughs> I need the case number, the court place, which court is it? Yes. The number Numbers, of the case? I've got it all, I've got it all for you. OK, and I need to pass it to the lawyer, Here's the high court, right? OK? These are the numbers for your solicitor. OK, wonderful. Are you claiming any benefits at the moment? Of course. What? I'm on disabilities. I know which one. And I'm on income support. And I get uh, housing. Uh, some housing, of, yeah. Yeah, some of it, not all of it, obviously. Part, yeah. And you say that you, you had a brain tumour, yeah? I had. And um, when, when did that occur? How long ago was that? Nine years ago. And how have you found life since then? Terrible. I keep forgetting. I become a little bit aggressive. A little bit impatient. Patient, things, yeah. you know, these this things which people see you, they think you're normal. You which, are normal, but you're not normal, do you know? You know I'm an aggressive person, because I got issues, yeah? <laughs> We've all got issues. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, but what we need to do, because, because the formalities and the arrangement has been set, I need to try and put you back on that until you deal with this. Okay. Yeah? And I'm happy to do that for you still. Thank you. Okay? I'm not here to be difficult. I'm no, here to no. treat you the same way you treat me. I know you. Yeah? I know. I know you're a job, yeah? and I know sometimes you need to. It's fine. Listen, I'm an ex-soldier, so I know the and procedures. <laughs> Brian thinks oh, no, he has a deal. Yes, I'm happy. Thank you very much. Any problems? Coming. Please, please call me. Lovely. Okay. No problem. Thank you very much. No worries. Now you're happy. When do you want to do the first payment again? Yeah. When, when do you want to do that one? Hundred pounds again? Was what that... for? I'm not going to pay no more. No, no, you've got to. You've got to listen to what I'm saying. We've got to set it. In, we've got to set the arrangement. Yes. Yeah. Until you set it aside. Okay. Are you with me? As it stands, the, the writ is still live. Yes. It's still ongoing. But in the meantime, yes. Get that down to your solicitor. Yes. And sort it out. No problem. Hopefully, I don't come back here and see you again. No, do you want? Unless we're having a drink. We want. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Good much. luck. Hey, God bless Cheers. you. Cheers. All, All right. the best. Bye bye. Bye. Because he's so vulnerable, I wouldn't take control of his goods. That's what the law states. You have to take people's vulnerability into, into consideration, and I clearly have and will with Mr Cohen. And he's just trying to live every day as it comes, to be quite honest. Um, but he's always got that big smile on his face, which you can't deter, and you can't put him down, and I admire it. Printing firm may have to start printing some cash and fast as the enforcement team come a knocking when the new series of Can't Pay Will Take It Away continues Wednesday at 9. And we're back out doing the rounds with the boys again next. <laughs>